Latvia's largest Soviet memorial has been destroyed on the orders of the national parliament. A concrete obelisk rising nearly 80 meters into the sky formed the centerpiece of the monument. It commemorated the Red Army's victory over Nazi Germany in the Second World War. Its toppling is the latest example of an ongoing trend in the Baltic states and Eastern Europe, where relics of the Soviet Union are being removed. TW's Killian Bayer reports from Riga. Meter upon meter of concrete steel crashing to the ground. The monument may have been destroyed, but it leaves a political divide in its wake. I feel wonderful because I experienced the awakening of Latvian independence in the 1990s and now it feels like this chapter is finally closed. I feel pain and injustice. My grandparents died in the war. They defended the whole world from fascism. Just a few months ago, Riga's Victory Park looked like this. It was the symbol of the Red Army's victory over Nazi Germany, a place for ethnic Russians to lay down flowers on Victory Day to commemorate their ancestors' sacrifices in the Second World War. But the war in Ukraine changed something. Around one in four people living in Latvia are of Russian descent. Many of them cherish their Soviet past. The majority of ethnic Latvians, however, see this monument as a symbol of Russian imperialism and are glad that it's gone. For Latvians, this monument symbolizes Latvia's occupation after the Second World War. And after Russia's invasion in Ukraine, we can't tolerate it anymore. On June 16th, the Latvian parliament voted to remove all Soviet-era statues. The monument in Riga was the largest in all of Latvia. It took hours of continuous hammering to eventually make it fall. With it gone, some hope that the scars of past can finally heal and that Russians and Latvians can live together peacefully.